Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. This is kind of like a part two first impressions of the beautiful, beautiful Distress uh, pencil, watercolour pencils that have just been released. So once this was a birthday present off my friend Sam, it's been sat on my shelf not really doing anything. Um, I am really ready for autumn. I'm ready for a little bit of spooky spookiness and I thought it might be a good little book to have a little play around in. So this page has literally just caught my eye. One, because I'll be honest, it's quite simple, but two, it is cute and it, he is the little death sort of death character and I thought what we'll do is we'll use the three sets we're not going to use every colour goodness me we'll be here all day um but we will definitely use these pencils now I'm thinking of this frayed burlap no I think we'll use antique linen as like a base so we want to have a little bit of go a little go of um kind of shading and seeing and I want to see like how translucent they are if the line art shows through them um because if they're like incredibly opaque then that's going to be a little bit of a problem but I'm going to use this antique linen and I'm going to use some frayed burlap around his skull just to add some shading so I'm going to try the two different techniques that I used in the swatching video at the end um, and I'm going to lay this antique linen down directly onto the page. And it is a, it is a, um, a paler tone, I would say, to the page. Uh, sorry, this is Cute and Creepy by Camilla Derricourt. Pop manga. My mind went completely blank then and I could not, for the life of me, sort of summon Camilla's name to my mind. It's been a busy first week back at school, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I've actually enjoyed myself and I've still found time to kind of colour. I've exercised probably not as much as I would have liked to. Um, as you can see, this colour is quite light, but you can see it going down. So that's quite good. Um, but yeah, so I'm a bit like frazzled. But I really wanted to get this filmed. And I wanted to get a page done in this book. So. Um, the plan is to put the coloured like this. I'm just colouring this whole page in these pencils. I'm not messing around uh, with pencils on this one. I am going to use some ink on the background. I'm pressing quite firm. Um, I'm a little bit on edge because they are so thin I feel like I could snap them. Um, but. Let's just get the colour down. Um, his little skeleton hands. Might need to take off colour. From the pencil. If it doesn't really work. But we'll just see. This is a bit of an experiment. Uh, this page is cute that I think with just a little bit of colour, anyway, he's going to look cute. So let's activate that now. I'd really, I need to buy, actually, I really like this one. I need to get some new water brushes actually. Um, let's just zoom in a little bit. I do need to get some new water brushes. I'm going to order the three pack of Pentel that I, that I first got because I love, I do love that small brush. Um, 
so I was wor slightly worried about how they would activate because my my swatches were horrendous let's be honest um but looking quite smooth I'm going to let it dry before I add any of the other colour on and then we'll be able to see like how it dries. Um, but there's no problem seeing that line work through which I'm glad about. But for a pale colour, you can see that there's colour down. And I do tend, I do like, I do like to go back and smooth bits out. But we'll let it dry. Let's let it dry and see what happens. Don't mind a bit of texture on him, actually. Um, now I was thinking for his little cloak. I think I'm going to go seedless preserves because I love with maybe a little bit of a villainous portion in there to um, add a bit of shadow and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to lay the colour down and then I think I'll take the pigment from the pencil and, and lay it on. I just want to activate this just to see what that looks like because it's a bit of a, a deeper richer colour. I actually really like them. That's gone down beautifully Oh, it's a little, I forgot there was little skulls on his, um, his little scythe. So we'll do them the same colour as him. I'm really in a, a, a autumn. I think it's because I'm back to school, like summer feels over. It's starting to get a little bit cooler. I've just had, we've just had an espresso order. Um, and we bought the pumpkin spiced cake. <gasps> just had a coffee. It was incredible. It wasn't in chat there, but I've just called that one up there. It was so good, like beautiful. Um, I'm a, I'm a fan. I actually might put a little cheeky order in and get some more because I believe that year they sold out really quickly. But yeah. Now, I would actually colour a page in this just using Neos, which this is kind of what these feel like. I would say they are firmer than the Neos. Now, I've not sharpened these at all. I've just literally took them out of the packet. Um, and I'm just putting the pigment down. You can sharpen them if you haven't watched um, the, my video. 
they fit and work really well in the Prismacolor uh, sharpener. I haven't got that though. I've got a Dahl and I've got a Helix one. I'll just try them in that and see what happens. And if not, we'll get a Prisma sharpener. No. It's no biggie. Um, so yeah, and this is a quite a simple page. It's going to be coloured quite simply as well. It's It's kind of just a little bit of a, a tester. But just from that sleeve, I really like them. It's a bit messy there. But can you see the, they're laying down quite smooth on this paper. Um, I know this paper is quite smooth and it does handle water well as well, so. I'm kind of trying to keep. that little bit that goes up there we'll take the pigment off onto the brush for that bit. It's a little bit crumbly. me to be honest. But I did say in the video, and I, and I do fully think it now, I wouldn't colour with these and leave them dry. I'm just not kind of feeling how they look dry, but they're beautiful when you activate them. Like such a smooth... And these are actually activating much smoother than in my swatch book. So again, it's 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 one of them, isn't it? It's completely dependent on paper, but they're looking stunning.
and I was actually thinking these would look really good. I've still not coloured in it, to be fair. Um, you know, Ink House, because the line work is showing through this really well, um, I think they'd be really good in Ink House. Might have to try them on a page in that. I know it's not technically a colouring book, but it's kind of been claimed as one, hasn't it? I mean, I've picked a kind of forgivable page, really, because I can be a little bit messy with this because, obviously, the line work is adding a lot of shade. The little dude is quite sketchily anyway. But still... a nice sort of smooth and I probably should even be nice be using a much bigger Waterbrush, it'll make it much quicker, but I quite lo like working in really small sections anyway. And with anything, I'll be going back in and like topping up any messy patches anyway. So, I mean, I'm going to have to see how these are to colour over. So that's another bit of a experiment we'll have to do. But my main concern really was actually, can you colour with them in a book? And I'm going to say already, yet I am pretty happy with them. Well, I'm very happy with them, they're beautiful. Oh, sorry, stop my head in. I'm zoomed quite in, so I need... That is a really nice colour, isn't it? It's one of my absolute favourites of seedless preserves. Uh, we'll do his little hood in that exact same colour. So I told you, it's just a very, very simple page. This was all about the experiment of how is actually, how do these pencils actually behave in a book? I 
and in this book I say they behave very well Sorry, I'm a something to drink. I am a bit of a twister, a turner. Sorry, just really trying to drink more water. I've been shocking this week being back at school. Monday was I was really good. I drunk a good two litres. And then Tuesday I was all right. Wednesday it just went out the window. Thursday out the window. <laughs> Friday I was a bit better. And then Wednesday I had two cups of coffee. That was it all day. Just forget. Just don't have time. Really need to make a conscious effort to, to drink because I do get. I just end up with a headache, and then I'm annoyed at myself. I could just see fingerprints from me tapping and I'm not, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't feeling it. it. wasn't the vibe we were going for. Let me answer this one just because they've got a bigger space. And this is a bit, a bit more of a watery. Pencil, but it's also a bit more flexible. This is kind of like my first Halloween. Is it wrong that I've been actually been dying to do one for a while? Like I'm going full Halloween pages come October, so if it's not your thing, I apologise, but I'm all about the spook. I love these books, I just feel like they handle water mediums and water really well. That was beautiful to colour on, not going to lie. Right, I want to come back now 
Oh no, should we do his little scythe? I think we'll go for vintage photo. And then maybe use a little bit of um, walnut stain to add a little bit of shade because I do want to really try and see what these are like for adding shading and blending which from the video that I did the swatch I was really happy really happy with And then I thought um, Hickory Smoke is probably a good one. I'm going to have to label these tins because it, it's a bit of a struggle finding a pencil. <laughs> so we're going to do the blade in Hickory Smoke, which is set three. So I've used so far the... F I've, mm, nothing out of set three. I've used Seedless Preserves, Vintage Photo and Antique Linen from set two. So everything I've used so far is the Distress Watercolour Pencils set two. So really this is like his base layer of colour and then we're going to go in across the whole illustration and add some shading but we're just going to activate his little bleed I've completely forgot what this colour's called. At uh, Hickory Smoke. Yeah. The really activating, like beautifully smooth, which I was worried about because on the paper in my swatch book, they were, you could still see kind of the the pencil marks. Now I know you can kind of see where I've activated it in the watermarks but if I was basing to colour over I'm, I wouldn't be that fussed and I'm not really that fussed on this page because I feel like it just adds to the sketchy kind of look. Um, we are going to add some shading over the top as well then. just to 
see what it looks like and then we will distress ink the background but I will probably do that off camera depending on the time. Oh, his little eyes. I'll go with some blue glass and then I think we'll add a dark blue over the top. I actually, funnily enough, haven't like not like noticed this illustration before, but as soon as I opened the book, it just jumped out at me, and I thought, "Yep, yeah. instantly the colours I could see in my head." I knew he's gonna have a little purple cloak. Right, next thing I wanted to do was to add some of this frayed burlap and I'm going to take it from the pencil. So, literally just picking up Now the only thing with this is you do have to kind of keep revisiting where you first applied it and stretch it out because I didn't necessarily want but that is working pretty well and I'm really actually liking it. Just take it around this little eye socket. Obviously, the more you work that, the more it's just going to kind of dissipate, spread out. this. A fun little page. Sometimes when there's kind of no pressure like this wasn't about what this page was going to look like. It was this video is about how these pencils work on this page not. I, I wasn't really bothered. Yeah it was a cute page but I weren't really bothered how it looks but now I'm actually kind of loving it. I'm just kind of seeing it together. <clears throat> so I've added a little bit of shading around his little skull. It looks cute. I don't really want to do much more than that. Um, even being honest, I do want to just add a little bit to the skulls on the end. Ones. Yeah. 
liking it. I'm absolutely loving it, if I'm being honest. Um, I wanted to add some peacock feathers to his eyes. So I'll do that while we've got this set all open. Because I don't think we're using any other colour from this now. Kind of gone right over my blue, but I don't mind. It's kind of got a glassy eye, I like it. Okay, so when we put set three away, we don't need that. So this is set one. We do need some villainous purple. Now I don't know if this is going to work so I'm just going to try it and see what it's like. I wanted to use this to add a tiny little bit of just like um, just some shading. I'm going to go lightly with it, I think, because this is a dark purple, if I'm being completely honest. Um, and, and too much, I think, is just going to ruin it. And I'm quite, I quite like the... I actually quite like seedless preserves anyway but we'll do it let's just do it to see because it was all about trying and they do paint actually from the pencil I'm just going to clean that off with a lot on the brush and spread that. A little bit because I'm just trying to add the shade, I don't want to do anything else. Probably a bit much, but I think I might leave the clock as it is. Because I don't want to, I really don't want to spoil it. But I've added some shadow, I've added some shadow to his hood. I've added some shadow around the sleeve. Some underneath and some going down there. I do just want to, just spotted that there. I'm going to leave it like that. I don't want to do, I really don't want to. 
kind of over the top it. I wanted to add some walnut stain. Just to this safe. in all of it. For a very, very quick colour, using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten pencil, nine pencils. I actually really like that. I'm going to whack a background on, not now, um, because this video is about the pencils. And I actually love him. I think they work really well. Really nice. He looks cute. He needs a little bit of tidying up, which I will do off screen. But no bleed through whatsoever. Cute little death. So I'm going to put a background on that. You'll see that in my completed pages of videos. I'm going to leave it there been filming quite a bit today um leave me a comment let me know what you think do you like them are you going to get them um are you going to use them to color i am i actually really like them i think they work fabulous in this book and i'll definitely be using them again i think for just like quick fun that here would be quite cute twisted citron um with some rustic wilderness to shared i think but yeah i might actually have a go of him and then use some pencils over the top and see what it looks like but distress watercolor pencils get a thumbs up for me i enjoyed working with them this looks super cute the colors have blended lovely yeah spot on i really really am impressed i hope you are let me know in the comments let me know what you think and i will see you all in the next one adios <laughs>